Hi everyone! So today I will be showing you how to create this super cute little kitty and um, I got a ton of requests for this so here is the tutorial. Now the whiskers are a little um, like kind of iffy because they m may fall out but um, the whiskers are a totally optional step at the end so you don't have to do that if you don't want to. But anyways, so now without further ado, let's get started. So today you will need any type of loom and colors for the cat or the kitty and then the kitty's nose and stomach as well as the kitty's eyes and whiskers. So today for the body I will be using neon orange from the Rainbow Loom web store and this is uh, not the one that you can buy at the craft store because the one from the web store isn't actually neon it's more of like a peachy orange color so it's not actually neon because a neon cat might look I don't know. I'm I'm going for more of a realistic look here. So, I'm also using these light pink um, bands from the Rainbow Looms Mix Skin Tones pack. This is also bought online. And then I am using two black for the eyes, and then two of the clear jelly bands um, for the whiskers here. But I think you can probably also substitute with the, this with white if you don't have that. My hook is also from the Rainbow Loom Web Store. It is this metal tip hook right here. And so now, without further ado, let's get started. So first you're going to start with the body color. We're going to use double bands for this whole entire project. So, double bands. And go from the left up. And then from the right up. So you got kind of this like try thing going on there with double bands. And now we're going to go vertically on all three sets of pins here. Like that. And now we're going to go vertically again one last time. Do the same exact thing as you did previously. like that. So you should now have something like this. Now we're going to add one more set of double bands except this time we're going to use the color that we're going to be using for the nose and stomach. So I'm using my light pink and going vertically here. So I've got something like that now. And now we're just going to close off the face with double of our face or body colored bands. Like that. Now we're going to scoot our loom down we're going to get started with the body. So first, of course, we're going to create the neck. And now we're going to go on to the body. So basically, this is kind of like the start of what we did earlier. So you're just going to make that little three-point thing that we made. Like that. And now on the left and right pin bars, you're going to use double of your body colored bands. like that. And from now on we are going to be using the bands that we are going to use for like the stomach. So, use double of these, go vertically in the center and make a row of all of the body colored bands. Like that. So we've now got a row of double bands here. Now we're going to make a row of our body colored bands. So I'm back to my neon orange. Like that. And now we're going to create the little legs. So this is going to go on only the left and right pin bars. So you're going to use double of your skin or skin tone, um, your neon orange or body colored bands. Go vertically on the left and right sides like that. And I do have a wall back here so that's why I can't scoot my loom any further. But should have something like that now. And now we're going to add two cat bands to these two pin bars here. So you're going to take a single band of um, your skin, uh, skin color, I keep calling it that, your neon orange or body color and you're going to wrap it around that pin three times. So wrap that three times. And again on the left side, a single band, wrap it three times.
like that. So if you're not done yet, go ahead and pause the video. If not, we're going to go up um, to kind of where the shoulders are of this cat here. And we are going to make the little arms. So for this, you're going to use double of your body colored bands and go vertically on the right. And of course on the left too, because you got to give this cat a little left paw. Like that. And now you're going to take single band and wrap it around each pin three times. Like that and the same on the left side. Single band, wrap it around three times. Two, three. Now we're going to move up and add on the eyes. So for this you're going to need your two black bands. You're going to take one, wrap it around this pin four times here. So I'm on this middle pin here of the kind of face thing. Do that uh, same thing to the left side, wrap it around four times. Two, three, and four. Like that. And now we're going to make the little ears. So for this we're going to use a single color of what we use for the stomach and you're going to double loop it across the two pins. So a single band, stretch it up, twist it, and fold it back onto itself. So you've got a double loop band or a cat band and do the same thing to the left side. Pull, twist, oops, fell off the pin. Pull, twist, and loop again. Like that. And now we got to add cat bands to the top of these. So you're going to take a single color of your body colored of bands and wrap it around four times. On the top right and four times on the top left. So if I have gone too fast for you, go ahead and pause the video. If not, we're going to put on horizontal bands across our loom. So for this, you're going to take a uh, single bands for this. We're going to use body colored bands first. You're going to go in a triangle shape across these three pins there. Do the same thing to the next three pins. So you've got another body color right there. Single bands still, by the way. Now we're going to scoot our loom down and we're going to switch to one of the stomach colored bands. So just pink here. Stretch it across these three pins here. And from now on we're just going to use the body colored band. So I'm back to my neon orange. Stretch across the next three. And the last three pins is a little bit different. You're going to grab a single one of your body band. You're going to start on the bottom left pin but you're going to go around this top pin and place the end back onto the bottom, like that. So your loom should now look like this. And if so, we're gonna start with some small hooking processes before we get to the whole body. So first off, we are going to make the little um, snout or the nose, whatever you'd like to call it. But for this, you're gonna need one um, light pink band and one neon orange band. So I'm gonna start with my light pink and wrap it around my hook four times like that. And now I'm going to take my one neon orange band, slip it onto my hook, and pull these four loops onto my hook and onto this band here. So now you can release this band, just make sure that it's kind of secure there in the center. And we're going to take our loom now and go up to the face. This is going to be stretched across to, uh, these two pins here. So you're going to grab both ends of this here grab both ends if my camera will focus. There we go. So grab both ends of that and carefully stretch it across the right pin here and then stretch to the left pin here. And this is on the face where the eyes are. So you should get something like this. Now we're going to go ahead and start doing the hooking processes on the ears, eyes, and arms. So first off we are going to make the little um, snout or the nose, whatever you'd like to call it. But for this you're going to need one um, light pink band and one neon orange band. So I'm going to start with my light pink and wrap it around my hook four times. Like that. And now I'm going to take my one neon orange band, slip it onto my hook, and pull these four loops onto my hook and onto this band here. So now you can release this band, just make sure that it's kind of secure there in the center. And we're going to take our loom now and go up to the face. 
This is going to be stretched across to uh, these two pins here. So you're going to grab both ends of this here. Grab both ends if my camera will focus. There we go. So grab both ends of that and carefully stretch it across the right pin here and then stretch to the left pin here. And this is on the face where the eyes are. So you should get something like this. Now we're going to go ahead and start doing the hooking processes on the ears, eyes, and arms. So first we are going to hook um, these arm bands here. So I'm here where the arms are. You're going to take your hook, go inside this cap band, circle around, and grab these double bands. Then pull them off of the pin and hook those downwards like that. Do the same thing to the left side. Like that. So now we are going to go up and we're going to do the ears next. So basically this is going to be the same exact hooking process that we just did. Go inside the cap band, circle around, and grab those bands. Pull them off of the pin and place them down. Do the same thing to the left side. Like that. So now once that you're once you are finished, we're gonna go ahead and hook the eyes. So the point of this is to um, cinch the little band here in the middle. So you're just gonna grab some of the loops. You don't have to grab all of them, you can grab one by one, or you can grab all of them if you'd like. It doesn't matter as long as they all end up getting hooked. So you're gonna grab, I'm going to grab a couple of these and pull them over the pin. Don't go inside this horizontal band. Make sure you stay on the outside of it when you're hooking. Grab the remaining ones, pull over. Do that as many times as you need to um, until all the black loops are here in, this, in the middle and are cinching this band there. And you're going to do the same thing to the left side. Grab the bands, carefully pull them over and release, over and release. So now that I'm done with that, we're going to go ahead and get started at the bottom of our loom with the whole entire hooking process. Okay, so we're first going to start with the feet, and I'm just going to start on the left side. Just go inside the cap band, like that vertically, and do the same thing on the right. Like that. Now we're going to go ahead, just make sure you go inside the horizontal band here. Hook vertically and do the same thing to the right side inside the horizontal band and hook vertically. So now in the center we are not going to go inside of any bands so you're just going to grab all the bands you see here at the slit of the pin and hook those vertically. From here on out is just kind of like your basic triple single bracelet so just keep going vertically. Oops sorry I went off camera there. Okay, and then hook here. Like that. Now we're going to hook the bands here. Make sure you go inside the bands for the arms and grab only the bottom two bands. Do the same thing onto the right side. Like that. So now we're going to move on to the neck. Make sure you're going inside of all the bands except for the ones that you're going to grab and hook push my pin bar down. And now we're going to go ahead, grab the top two, hook those to the right. Grab the next two to the left. Now grab the all the bands here, hook those vertically, ignore the nose right, right there, act like it's not there. And now we're going to go ahead and hook like normal again. Okay, so once you're to this point, we're going to go ahead and just hook these last few bands here. Hook those inwards, like that. And lastly, we're going to hook this vertical band here. So once you're finished, please make sure that your loom looks like this. And if so, we can go ahead and remove it from our loom. But um, actually, first we're going to secure this. So 
if you'd like. You can put a C-clip on these bands, however, I'm just going to tie it off by going here, grabbing the bottom bands. Don't go inside the pin, stay on the outside. Pull those over the pin and give it a little tug to secure that little knot. And now we can remove it from our loom. So now you should have something like this. And we are now going to go ahead and add little whiskers. So first you want to take your hook, find the nose and pull it out of this middle link here. And you want to stick your hook inside of all four of these light pink loops. So let's grab some and just pull the rest over. And it is a little bit tricky so it's okay if you don't get it on your first try. But just grab the little loops and put them onto your hook. Um, and this part of adding whiskers is optional if you um, don't want to cut any of your bands or are, don't want to risk any of them falling out. So you're going to have your hook inside of all four loops here and once you've had that done, you're going to go ahead and grab your two clear jelly bands here. My camera will focus. So these two clear jelly bands, you're going to grab them and pull them through your loops here and pull them out of the other end, but don't pull it out all the way. You want the nose to be halfway in between these little loops here. So you should now have something like this. Then you want to take a pair of scissors and you want to snip the ends of the clear jelly bands. So on this end, just be very careful not to cut any other bands. And do the same on the other side. Stick the scissors through the loops and cut them like that. So after that obviously they're going to be a little bit crazy and you can just like roll them around to um, get them to where you want. And I'm not going to spend the time doing that on camera but um, I have rolled mine out to how I like on this one. It kind of looks like a mustache almost but this is basically my other kitty cat that I have done with all the whiskers almost nicely placed. And so yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial. Um, I really hope you guys like this design because I got a lot of requests for this. I also have other animals coming up for you guys such as a penguin and maybe an owl. So um, you guys can stay tuned for that. Also let me know down below in the comment section what other animals you would like to see. And yeah. So don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if it helped you out and also hit the subscribe button on your way out and follow me on Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, and Facebook. My links are all in the description box below and I will see you guys later. Bye!